The private secretary to the Sovereign is the senior operational member of the Royal Household of the Sovereign of the United Kingdom as distinct from the great officers of the household. The private secretary is the principal channel of communication between the monarch and the governments in each of the Commonwealth realms. They also have responsibility for the official program and correspondence of the Sovereign. Through these roles the position wields considerable influence. The Office of Private Secretary was first established in 1805. The current Private Secretary is Edward Young who succeeded Sir Christopher Guite in October 2017. History Colonel Herbert Taylor, who was appointed in 1805, is acknowledged as the first private secretary to the Sovereign. However, the office was not formally established until 1867. Constitutionally there was some opposition on the part of ministers to the creation of an office which might grow to have considerable influence upon the Sovereign. However, it was soon realized that the sovereign was in need of secretarial support, since his or her ministers had ceased to provide daily advice and support with the growth of ministerial government. Queen Victoria did not have a private secretary until she appointed General the Honorable Charles Grey to the office in 1861. Her husband Prince Albert had effectively been her secretary until his death. Topic. Functions The principal functions of the office are To act as a channel of communication between the sovereign and his or her governments, and to advise the sovereign on constitutional, political or governmental questions To organize the official program of the sovereign, and to ensure its acceptability to both the sovereign and the government these duties including drafting speeches, maintaining liaison with other households, the Royal Train, the Queen's Helicopter, No. 32 the Royal Squadron RAF, and the Armed Forces—the latter through the Defence Services Secretary, and to deal with the Sovereign's official correspondence including congratulatory messages, from members of the public, the press office, and the court circular, and also to deal with the Sovereign's private papers, the Royal Archives, and the monarchy's official website. The position of Private Secretary is regarded as equivalent to that of the Permanent Secretary of a Government Department. The incumbent is always made a privy councillor on appointment, and has customarily received a peerage upon retirement a life peerage since 1972. Until 1965, peerages granted to private secretaries were hereditary baronies, with the exception of Lord Knollys, who was created a Viscount in 1911. All private secretaries since the time of Lord Stamfordham have been created peers, with the exceptions of Sir Alexander Hardinge inherited his father's barony in 1944, Sir Alan Lascelles declined as he felt titles to be a show of self-importance and Sir William Heseltine who is an Australian. The private secretary is head of only one of the several operational divisions of the royal household, however, he or she is involved in coordination between various parts of the household, and has direct control over the press office, the Queen's archives, and the office of the Defence Services Secretary. <laughs> Liaison with the government The private secretary is responsible for liaising with the cabinet secretary, the Privy Council Office (PCO), and the Ministry of Justice's Crown Office in relation to appointments that are formally made by the sovereign, the scheduling of the meetings of the Privy Council, and the transmission of official documents that need to be signed by the sovereign. Topic. Security Reporting to the Private Secretary is the role of Director for Security Liaison which was established following a recommendation of the Security Commission in 2004. The post was first held by Brigadier Geoffrey Cook, OBEMC, who was in office 2004–2008. 
The private secretary has general oversight of security policy, though the master of the household is also involved, and the keeper of the privy purse has responsibility for the ceremonial bodyguards, such as the gentleman at arms and the yeoman of the guard. <laughs> List of private secretaries to the sovereign since 1805 Deputy Private Secretaries to the Sovereign since 1972 <laughs> Assistant Private Secretaries to the Sovereign since 1878 See also Canadian Secretary to the Queen Private Secretary <laughs>